Hey guys, so if you've watched this channel before at all, you know that my wife Ava, who's Italian, always cooks me really, really amazing Italian food. I feel like I'm kind of not pulling my weight though, so she's coming home from work and I thought that I would surprise her by cooking lunch for her. I'm making pasta, it's her favorite food, but she's really particular about her pasta, so I thought I'd play it super safe, just go with a classic spaghetti and meatballs. I figure that it's hard to mess up spaghetti and meatballs. I've got my uh, pasta boiling, my spaghetti, and here I have my meatballs. That's a spicy meatball. Okay, I think she's gonna be home any minute now, so I better get this uh, ready and plated. We'll see what she thinks. Amore, you made lunch for me. Yeah, I thought it'd be a nice little surprise for when you got home. Grazie. You ready to see what I made? Yes, please, I'm starving. Hey, voila! What do you think? What is that? It's spaghetti and meatballs. Spaghetti and meatball? Italians never put meatball on spaghetti. What's wrong with putting meatballs on spaghetti? In order to understand why you can't put meatball on spaghetti, you should learn the rules of pasta. Can you teach me the rules of pasta so that I don't mess up next time? How much time do you have? Hi everyone, I'm Harper. Ciao, I'm Eva. Today we're here to sort out once and for all the rules of authentic Italian pasta. So finally you can eat pasta properly as an Italian. Where did these rules come from? Who invented them? Nobody invented them. We know this rule just because we are Italian. Lay it on me, what's the first rule of pasta? We have two kinds of pasta. The dry pasta, the other one is the fresh pasta. Okay, that's not too complicated. Yes, but then we have three categories of fresh pasta. The egg fresh pasta, flour pasta. The third is a kind of special pasta because it's made by flour and, uh, for example, potatoes. Potatoes are pasta? See? Okay. Egg fresh pasta is divided in other two kinds of pasta. Two more kinds of, e of egg the, fresh pasta? The normal egg pasta. What are some examples of normal egg pasta? Tagliatelle. Tal... GLI! What's the second type of egg pasta? The stuffed egg pasta. And then after we have a special egg fresh pasta that it's in between normal and stuffed. Another special. Lasagna. Lasagna. So is that it for the fresh pasta? For now, yes. We have two kinds of dry pasta. The long dry pasta, and then we have the short dry pasta. That makes sense. And then after we have a pasta that is made for children. Oh, really? And we call it pastina. And it can be dried or fresh. Pastina. And we have several kinds of pasta. These are basically all the kinds of pasta, right? With some exception, yes. And now, Harper, it's time to learn uh, what, which sauce goes which pasta. What about just a, a simple tomato sauce? In general, the tomato sauce goes with uh, every kind of pasta. It doesn't matter if it's dried, uh, if it's fresh, if it's short, if it's long. Uh, but usually, we don't put, for example, tomato sauce with the linguine. What about like a, uh, a meat sauce, like a bolognese sauce? We usually use the bolognese sauce for the fresh egg pasta. Just the, the egg pasta, so it can go on the normal pastas and the stuffed pastas and the special lasagna. Uh, it depends. It can go for sure with all the normal egg pasta. It can go, for example, with the ravioli. But when ravioli are stuffed not with ricotta and spinach, no ricotta. Usually we don't put the bolognese sauce with tortellini. But lasagna is okay, right? Lasagna is made with bolognese sauce. What about the pastina? Can bolognese go with pastina? Jesus, no! And then after we have the fish. The only pasta that usually we eat with fish is the dried long pasta. Okay. Sometimes you can find a long egg fresh pasta. The name is tonnarelli. And fish can go with tonnarelli. Sometimes you can find tonnarelli and fish. Sometimes. 
Not for sure you every Americans know the carbonara. Carbonara, yes. According to the fact that carbonara sauce is made with eggs, you will never use egg fresh pasta with the carbonara. It has to be a dry pasta. What could go better with eggs than eggs though? It's too heavy. Traditional, we have the spaghetti a la carbonara. Okay. What you, about linguine? You will never find the linguine in carbonara. For sure everyone knows the arrabbiata. The spicy, very spicy tomato sauce. The arrabbiata is perfect with the penne. Arrabbiata is good with penne. What about but, fusilli and rigatoni? No. Rigatoni is acceptable, but fusilli alla arrabbiata. Acceptable. Then we have mushroom. And what can mushrooms go on? Oh, pappardelle with mushroom. Pappardelle? Pappardelle. Well, I really like sprinkling Parmesan cheese on top of my pasta. Is that okay with all these pastas? No, we don't. Parmigiano doesn't go on fish. It goes on bolognese, ragu, it goes on mushroom, arrabbiata. So now we should talk about uh, bean sauce. Beans? Ah, pasta fagio. Oh, like the song. What do beans go on? Beans are perfect on fresh flour pasta. Fresh flour pasta. Okay, this can be a good introduction to the rules of pasta. I'm still confused. I don't understand why bolognese sauce can only go on fresh pasta but not dry pasta. I don't understand why fish can only go on long dry pasta. And most importantly, I don't understand why meatballs can't go on spaghetti. Because nobody put meatballs on spaghetti. I give up. Can we just make some pasta, please? Okay, well I see some pasta and I see some meatballs. These are fettuccine with meatball, so it's egg fresh pasta, normal, with meatball because they go perfect together. Whereas spaghetti doesn't. No. Buon, buon appetito. appetito! That is delicious, I must say. Now you can understand why meatball doesn't go on spaghetti? Nope, not at all. From now to the future, let me do it. Well, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you learned a little something about Italian pasta today. Uh, we'll be back next week with another video, so please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Follow us on Instagram, at Pasta Grammar, and we'll see you next time. Ciao! Ciao.